Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, by now you should have probably seen my latest video um, where I kind of explain where I've been for so long. Um, you know, as I said in the previous video, there's just been a lot going on the past few months. Um, multiple garage sales and school starting and other family stuff and now the latest drama is that my daughter, uh, who's in fourth grade, is just <laughs> absolutely hating it. Um, so it's been a fight and a battle every day to get her to go to school. And it's not because of the kids, because, I mean, she had to switch schools this year. Um, like, two schools merge into one, into fourth and fifth grade. But she knows the majority of the kids. She's friends with the majority of the kids in her class. I mean, she's been in class with them before, so I don't exactly know what's going on except that she just doesn't like the structure that they have there. It's too different, and she's hating it, so she's miserable, which is making us miserable. <laughs> um, so it has not been fun, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys some things that either currently have bids or have already sold and I'm about to ship them out and I don't think I've shown no I haven't shown any of these things maybe one thing I've shown you guys in the past because um, obviously haven't done a haul video in a long time I'm gonna try and shoot for one soon but I'm not making any promises because there's always somebody in this house now it's either my husband my daughter my son my son needs to go out and get a job, like ASAP, um, driving me crazy. So that's another reason why it's been harder to do things. So I'm going to jump in now and show you some of these things that I've sold. This is probably the only thing that you guys have seen um, in the past uh, few months. This is a, is it, I think it's a Graham's Bear. Yeah, a Graham's Bear Care Bear. Um, a lot of them sometimes are missing this shawl. It's in really good condition. I paid two dollars for it and sold it for um, thirty-five with free shipping. Then sold some more flatware. I don't even know if I even showed this to you guys. I bought this a while ago, probably a couple years ago, <clears throat> but I've been doing pretty well with this. I think I bought a whole set for. I don't know, a couple bucks. And these four forks alone went for $15. And I still have probably half the set yet to sell. But I do have watchers, I think, on all the lots that are still up for sale. Then there's this. This is Signature Club A Industrial Strength <laughs> Microsphere Night Cream caviar and oceanic collagen protein anti-stag extra firming cream good lord <laughs> i mean is that a mouthful or what i just think it's funny how it says industrial strength i mean how bad does your face look that you need industrial strength anything anyway um i think they this is sold on hsn i think um and there's no date on it <clears throat> I don't know how old it is. Sorry, guys, if I'm losing my voice. I had a cold that I was getting over. Um, but the lady had three... She had three jars of this stuff. She had this, another jar the same size of some other industrial strength, something that maybe it was the day cream, and then there was a smaller jar of eye cream. I sold the day cream for, I think, $26 in free shipping. This one for 18 with free shipping, and the eye cream is still up for sale in my store. But I paid $2 for the whole set of three. Um, I got this during a townwide yard sale. Um, I was actually supposed to be helping out at the last yard sale we were having for my husband's aunt, and I told him, sorry, I'm going to be late. I have to just go up and down this one street in town, and then I'll be there. So, I'm happy that I did. Uh, let's see. Next thing is this 
tiki bowl. I bought this um, a couple weeks ago during another townwide sale. It cost me a dollar. Um, obviously, if you guys watch my channel consistently, you know that you know I'm always looking for Hawaiian stuff, tiki stuff. Uh, usually sells pretty well. <clears throat> this one is from Trader Dicks. It's a chain, a Polynesian chain restaurant, and this one was in John. Esquagas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, it was in his casino in uh, Sparks, Nevada, the Nugget. And anyway, they used to put, serve signature drinks in this, and I guess this was like your souvenir bowl, mug, whatever you want to call it. And um, I did a little research and found out that this particular Trader Dicks actually just closed um, in this casino this past February after being there for I think over 50 years so I put that in my listing I don't know if it had any effect or not but I figured you know if people knew that it was closed and they can't just go and get these there anymore then maybe it would help sell it um, so you know it does pay to do a little bit of research sometimes but this is still up for auction right now I paid a dollar for it and it has a starting bid of $19.99 on it right now and hopefully it'll go a little bit higher. The other thing that has a bid and I bought this the same day that um, I bought the face cream. There was actually a huge rummage sale at um, there's a big 4-H building about 10 minutes down the road and I didn't know until that weekend that they apparently have a huge rummage sale every year. And so I hit that on the way to the um, garage sale I was hosting. And unfortunately, I didn't realize that it had started the day before. If I had, I would have been there right when it started. Because um, that's when you get the good stuff. But um, didn't get there until Saturday. But at least I know about it now. So next year, I will definitely be there on Friday. And I picked these up. This is called the Discovery Toys think it through tiles set. This is a really cool learning toy. It has all these tiles in it and then all the tiles have a design on the back. And then there's also letters underneath all the tiles. And I'm not going to explain the whole thing to you guys because you probably really don't care. But anyway, um, you get all these different books and they're about vocabulary and math and reading, comprehension and whatever. And what you do is you answer the questions and you have to put the corresponding tile in the right slot and then after you do you flip you flip this thing over so that you can actually see the design part of the tiles and then the designs are supposed to match the pattern that's down below and then you know if you got all the answers right it's really cool. My daughter was playing with it and she liked it, but then she got bored with it. And she's like, okay, you can sell it now. But I bought all these for 25 cents a piece, so I think it cost me $4.25. I got the tiles and then there's 20 books here. Um, so I put it up for $24.99 with free shipping. These will fit in a flat rate padded envelope and um, got an initial bid of $24.99 after the first day. So, um, that's great and hoping it goes up a little bit more. All right, on to coffee mugs. I know there's a lot of coffee mug haters out there and that's fine. You can hate them all you want because I'll just keep on buying them and making money. Um, so let me show you all the coffee mugs that have either sold or gotten bids in the past couple of days. This one is a sign language mug, nothing really special, unmarked, just says China. I paid, I think, five or ten cents for this at a rummage sale, sold it for $9.99. This one also got at my favorite rummage sale across the border into Pennsylvania. Got this about a month ago. It's a little bit dimensional, Snoopy kind of pops out from the background a little bit. Really good shape, hallmark, looks like it's never been used. Paid a quarter. Again, $9.99 on that. These two I just picked up a couple of weeks ago, and I thought they were adorable. Um, 
the church that my daughter went to preschool at was having a fundraising kind of rummage sale um, out in their garden and I saw these peeking out of a box and thought they were so cute and then the top it says everything stops for tea with the little guinea pig and these also have both have tea strainer inserts in them and I turned them over and they said would with tard of Chelsea fine bone china made in England so I looked up the name some were selling some weren't it wasn't anything like overwhelmingly consistent uh, but I just thought these were so cute that I had to buy them and I couldn't find any even remotely like these um, these are also based off of illustrations from Anita Jaram or Jerom or um, I can't think off the top of my head what book she wrote but it's pretty well known or she illustrated it's a pretty well known children's book um, at least the one I'm thinking of and I know she's illustrated a lot of others but anyway I bought both of these this one has an adorable little mouse in a teacup and this one is drinking tea and then there's the cookies they were 50 cents a piece this one right now has I don't know six watchers on it and it's up to 1450 this one um, has four or five watchers on it this one's up uh, it has an initial bit of 999 uh, I just have a feeling about these I think these are gonna go higher I think people are gonna fight over these especially people that want both of them so fingers crossed that that goes well and then this was my um, big daddy home run mug of the week I got this at yet another rummage sale um, there was a townwide sale over in the town where my son's girlfriend lives and didn't have much luck at the individual houses that were having sales but then on the way out of town there was a rummage sale and usually don't have too much luck there but I did really well this time around and I got this pinky in the brain mug this is a huge one. I mean, I can fit my whole like hand and part of my arm in here. This is 32 ounces if you fill it all the way to the top. It's Warner Brothers 1996. I got it for 50 cents and I just sold it for $40 with free shipping. Um, so made about 30 on it because it is going, I think it's going to Idaho. I think so. But anyway, um, these are going anywhere from like 35 to 55 somebody had it up for 55 with free shipping um, but it's been sitting there so I wanted to kind of you know sell this in a timely fashion so I was very happy with 40 and then the other home run that I had at that sale was yes another needle work kit this is a Bucilla needle point kit this is checking it twice an 18 inch stocking kit really nice image Oops, I got stuff falling out the bottom of it um as you can see it's open and when I found it it was a mess all the yarn was out of it the canvas was out of it the instructions were you know shoved somewhere down in this basket but it was all it was kind of all together it was just a mess and the lady was just putting it out as I was walking past the table and I was looking at it she goes oh it's five dollars so of course I grabbed it came home sorted it out thanked the good Lord that everything was in it and um, checked completed listings and like I said paid five ended up just selling this this morning for a hundred dollars with free shipping so yay love those needlework kits um, but they all don't sell very well I've said that before and I made the mistake of buying a ton of them from this woman on Craigslist and I, I mean I'll I'll make my money back and I'll probably make a profit it's just gonna take a while she had probably over 400 kits maybe 450 something like that I paid like three what, $350 for all of them I had like all these tubs full of needlework kits I listed probably half of them so far um, a third to a half of them made about a hundred and 
50 back so far. But they're older kits and not very detailed. Um, you know, in hindsight, I shouldn't have bought it. But I did. So, got to work to make my money back there. But, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, thankfully, though, I didn't lose any money, so, in the long run. But, um, you know, just do your research before you do things like that. Um, you know, buy big lots of stuff. I just, you know, got excited about all those needlework kits and just wasn't thinking straight that day. So, that's it for right now. Hopefully, I'll be back with a haul video, like I said. Um, and I also have... Um, a friend of mine that I want to talk to you guys about who is a young um, eBay seller who is doing really fantastic so I want to let you guys know about her and she knows who she is if she's watching and I'll share your her store with you guys and her blog with you guys and she's very inspirational especially to young sellers so that's it for now guys and I'll talk to you soon bye